Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Today is gonna, hopefully should be our last day of doing odds and ends jobs. I believe it's April 26th, 1230. I just got back off from work and I just got up to the farm in Preston. And I believe right now I'm gonna go put the pallet forks on the skid loader, unload a semi that's coming with um, some feed we have for our cattle and some chemicals, and then go eat dinner and who knows what's gonna happen after that. I'm hoping we get some oats sowed today. We gotta do a little disc in, chisel, chisel up some ground and get the soil finisher hooked up because I think we're gonna be planting tomorrow. So we'll, say, we'll take you along for the ride, stay tuned. guys I just unloaded that pallet and that pallet of protein for our cattle and I also loaded that pallet of chemical right there as well now time to go up and eat well guys I just got done eating it was a typical grandma meal meat and potatoes for lunch it was delicious there goes Pat in the loader with our six pack on it we call it the six pack but it's a bale mover he's heading down to his place he's got uh, 18 bales to move so we can get get that part chiseled up so we can get in hydrous in it and that's my job and we run our cat tractor i lied to you guys earlier it's an mt 865 b so it's only got around 510 horsepower i say only that's still a lot but so i got it's got our chisel on it so i'm gonna head down to preston i'm gonna do a little bit of odd jobs while he's moving bales and uh i'm gonna call it good so i'm also taking these down i gotta go scoop rocks i'll let you guys hear this There we go. These these cabs are really loud. So you want to make sure the door is shut tight. All right. Let's head down to Pat's place. And this is our old case 1840 skid loader and when i say old it is old probably i'm not even gonna guess 15 20 years we use it to back up skid loader but we keep this down at pat's place just for small jobs just moving a little bit around bales so right now i gotta switch the bucket put the bucket on and then uh go pick up some rocks over there one thing i don't like about this thing it's tippy Really tippy. Woo, I'm tired. I got two tips for you guys. One, don't ever put gravel on a slope. Two, if you do put gravel on a slope and it comes into your field, don't try and pick it up with the skid loader bucket. You'll do that. Stupid. Call myself stupid. So I just mix all this rock in. So we're either gonna have a lot of sorting to do well, the spot's not gonna be very good, so. <sighs> I gotta keep at it. Never try and get rocks out with that bucket. It will not work. Good enough for now. Let's go pick up a little bit more rock and we'll start chiseling a little bit or get whatever chisel needs to be done. Alrighty guys, I just got a little bit of rock to clean up. Brian is doing an hydrus. And Pat's down there finishing the chiseling.
can't even tell the rocks there now. Maybe because they're all buried, but that's okay. 